What is up you guys, it is Sam here, and today I'm going to teach you how to install shader packs in Minecraft on your Mac. Here we go. So this tutorial should work for all versions of shaders. As of this video, the current version of shaders is for Minecraft 1.8. I have a tutorial made for Shaders 1.8, so if you want to watch it, a link will be in the description below. If you have annotations enabled, you can click on the screen right now to watch the video, or you can head to the upper right hand corner, press the little I, and click on the card that says Shaders 1.8 tutorial, watch that. Now if you already have it installed, you don't have to worry about that, however if you don't, install Shaders for Minecraft 1.8, then come back and watch this video. All right, now that that's out of the way, let me show you how to install a shader pack. So the first thing you want to do is you want to head to the regular shaders thread. I will have a link to that in the description below. All right, so now you are on the shaders mod Minecraft forums thread. Now keep in mind when running shaders, the mod requires recent and fast graphics cards with Nvidia or AMD GPU. It seems to have some trouble with Intel HD graphics. To know which graphics you have installed on your Mac, head up to the Apple logo and click about this Mac. Then what you want to do is you want to head to system report. In system report, you want to head to graphics slash displays. And as you can see, since I have the 15 inch MacBook Pro, I have dual graphics. So I have Intel Iris Pro and I have the AMD Radeon R9 M370X. So I am fine. I can run shaders no problem. Here are the shader packs. If you scroll down, you will see a bolded text that says shader packs. The first one that appears is Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders. This is probably the most popular shader pack. Now it says that it is for Nvidia GTX or AMD Radeon. It says it is not compatible with Intel HD graphics and it's pretty much not compatible with OS 10. So I basically cannot run it. That's, that's pretty much what it means. I cannot run it. Silder Shaders, this says PC slash Mac compatible Intel compatible. This one right here is specifically for Intel HD graphics. So if you just have Intel HD graphics, this is probably the one you would get. So I will just install Silder shaders. So I'm going to click on the topic link. So right down here are the downloads for Minecraft 1.8. I am, um, I'm just going to get the light version. Now for me, an ad fly pops up. So all I have to do is I have to wait until a skip ad button appears. I click that and then it'll take me to a Mediafire link. I will then click download, and Silder's Vibrant Shaders has downloaded. Now let me open up my finder. I'm going to head to go, and I'm going to click go to folder, and I'm going to have this code in the description below. Simply copy and paste it from the description into this field, then press go. I'm going to head to application support. I'm then going to click Minecraft, and as you can see, I have a shader packs folder. I'm going to take my Silder's Vibrant shaders, drag that in there, and now I'm going to open up my Minecraft application. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into options, I'm going to click shaders, and then I'm going to select my shader pack. I am then going to click done, done. Let's create a new world. And as you can see, Shaders is working for me. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you install a Shader Pack on your Mac. It is really easy. I, I received a ton of questions about this, and I know it can be really tough trying to find the right Shader Pack that can work with your graphics card or processor or operating system. So hopefully this cleared some things up for those of you that had questions about that. In, in fact, speaking of questions, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave a comment below. I will do my best to answer it. If you are new to the channel and you want to stay tuned for more cool content, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you really enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button down below as well. All social media information is provided on my website, maddogtherobot.com. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching. I am Sam, and I am signing off.